You've done all the hard work by creating an amazing Google Ads campaign. You've got focused keyword targeting with ad copy that gets clicks, but the problem is, is that people are going to your landing page and you're getting no conversions. And if this is you, the issue is not your Google Ads campaign, but in fact, it is your landing page. And unfortunately, this is an all too common problem where people are not seeing success with their Google Ads campaigns. And the issue is not around their Google Ads campaign. It's got more to do with their landing page because the landing page that they're sending users to doesn't have the core elements of being able to easily grab someone's attention, effectively communicating your message and providing an easy solution to the problem which the user is currently facing. And because you're using Google Ads to promote your own business, obviously the answer to the problem that your user is facing is for them to buy your product or to order your service. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you through the top five elements that your landing page needs to include so that you can guarantee that you get conversions from your Google Ads campaign. But before we get into today's training, in case we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. Being able to create highly profitable and high converting landing pages for your Google Ads campaign is an essential skill if you're going to see success with Google Ads. And that is why we discuss this issue and how to create profitable Google Ads landing pages in my Google Ads community, which is called my 10X Google Ads community. And we've got a session in there called UX Principles for High Converting Landing Pages. And this is a training that was put together by a UX expert who has actually carried out over 10,600 individual user tests for landing pages. So if you'd like to find more about this advanced training and how you can access it through my Google Ads 10X community, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. I hope to see you in my 10X community very, very soon. But right now, let's get into those five key elements that you're gonna need on your Google Ads landing pages. And the first element that you need for a high converting landing page is an attention grabbing headline and images. Now for quite a number of years now, there's been a lot of debate going around about how much time you actually have to grab someone's attention. Some people think it's as low as three seconds, others think it's seven seconds, and others think you even have up to 15 seconds. But regardless of which time frame you personally believe that you have to grab someone's attention, we can all agree that it is a mere number of seconds as opposed to minutes. And that is why it is really, really highly important that as soon as someone jumps onto your landing page that they see an attention grabbing headline and an image. Because if you're any chance of getting that user who's clicked on your ad to stay on your landing page for long enough so that you can get that valuable sale or conversion that your business needs, you need to make sure that your headline and your image that the user sees right from the start is focused on them. It has to be about their needs and the problem they're facing and the answer that they are looking for their problem. So regardless of what your headline says or what your image is of, you need to make sure that both of those things are related to the customer and their individual need. The second thing, you need to communicate through your headline and your image, and by focusing the image and the headline on the customer and making it very clear what the benefits are, you're then sending a very clear message that your product or service is exactly what they have been looking for. And right now, I wanna take you through three examples of some different landing pages that are getting amazing results for their businesses because they're providing those required conversions and sales every single day for these individual businesses. And the first example I wanna show you is for a villa resort in Bali. And straight away as you come into this landing page, you can see the communicating with the image and also the headline that this is all about a private pool villa. And then as these top images scroll across, it then brings up another message, which is all about holidaying in pure luxury. And then you're seeing the image behind, which has obviously the person there showering in their own private villa. And then as we move across even further, it goes into selling this luxury element of staying in your very own private villa, which also has a spa inspired bathroom. And once again, all of these headlines and images are communicating very, very clearly to the user that they're in for a luxury experience. And then as they start to scroll down straight away, this message is also reinforced by communicating that this villa is all about them and that this whole resort was created with the user in mind. And then as they continue to scroll down, they can see further and further different elements and different selling points of the different villas, whether they're looking for a one bedroom or two bedroom, and then going through the different images that are once again following up and reinforcing that same message. 
And then when we move over to another example, which is an e-commerce site for baby earmuffs, as soon as the user lands on this page, they're seeing straight away that this is all about baby's earmuffs and that it's made for noise. And then with these images in the background, it's communicating the safety element that this product creates for the user. And in this case, it's all about selling to parents who are concerned about the hearing of their kids when they're going to live events. And then as they go down a little bit further, you can see that it's covering off all models, whether they're looking for a baby, a kid, or also audio headphones. And then we come to another example, which is actually my own site. And this one is all based on a really heavy headline, which is communicating to the user, that this is where they can come and learn how to use Google Ads to sell any product with any budget. So this one's a little bit lighter on the image, but it's heavily focused on that headline. So the first essential element is having that clear headline and image which grabs the person's attention. And then we come to our second point. Once we've got their attention with our headline and an image, we need to give a very, very clear call to action. And when it comes to a call to action, you want this to have a single focus with multiple options. And what I mean by this, that if, if your single focus is that you want people to get in contact with you so that you can book their service or generally answer their inquiry, you need to give them multiple options so that they can contact you by a phone number or they can contact you via contact form or an email. So you're giving them different options, but it's all got the same focus. Or if you're running an e-commerce or an online booking site, you just need to make sure that you're carrying the same message through, but you might have multiple different book now or buy now buttons so that they can complete that one action, but in various different ways. So an important element in increasing your conversion rates from your Google Ads campaigns is to make sure that you only have one single call to action. And I also recommend that that call to action should also be introduced in your ad copy. But let me show you now what that looks like for different call to actions on a highly converting landing page. This first example is a hotel site and you can see straight away that their core focus is to get you to book. So as soon as you open up that page, you've got this pop-up here, which is giving them the option for a discount code. And if they close that down, that is followed up by another book now button. And then when you go onto their accommodation page, you can see as you scroll down the page, there's multiple options for people to go directly through to the booking site so that they can complete their booking straight away. And then moving over to a service-based site, this business has the goal that they want you to contact them so that you can complete a booking to order a skip bin. So right from the start, you can see that there's an option here for the phone number. And then as you scroll down, you can see there's other options for you to fill out this contact form. Or if you go through into their individual service areas, straight away you can see once again, there's this very clear and precise option for you then to give them a phone call or you can actually go through once again and fill out that contact form. And then the third element that you need to make sure that you have a high converting landing page for all of your Google Ads campaigns is that you need to have a simple design with great images and easy to read messaging. A common mistake that I do see with some landing pages is that they're just too complicated. They've got different pop-ups and flashes and buttons and everything going everywhere. And in my time in Google Ads campaigns, I've seen time and time again, some of the highest converting landing pages are actually the simplest ones, but they all have these common elements in place in that they have a simple and easy to use design with great images and messages, which are easy to read, which back up the call to action. So the great news is that you don't need to pay tens of thousands of dollars for a highly complex website, because a lot of the landing pages that my clients use are simple and easy to set up landing pages on easy to use platforms like Wix, WordPress or Squarespace. With the core element for success being not how expensive the website was, but more about how easy the website is to use, how clear the messaging is, and how well the images are chosen and used to back up and sell your services or your products. And then we come to our fourth key element that you need in a high converting landing page, which is all about authority markers, testimonials, and guarantees. And the reason why authority markers, testimonials, and guarantees are so important is because they take the fear out of the buying process. The well-known sales trainer and author put it this way, people buy an emotion and they justify on logic. And as we go through this process, you can see that those first three elements about your headlines, your call to actions, and your content is all about building that emotion. But when we come down to this fourth point, which is when we're talking about those different authority markers, testimonials, and guarantees, we're giving the user logic that they can justify their purchase decision. And this can be done in a very simple way. Let me show you how. 
Now from these websites that we looked before, this website is focused on a live feed of Google reviews. So straight away you can see that as soon as a user is on the website, they're seeing this rolling feed of positive verified Google reviews. Then if we move over to this e-commerce site, you can see they've got two different elements here. Firstly, they've got a productreview.com.au. Now this is an external feature that Australian sites can use, and I know other countries have different variations of this, but what this is using is a verified review feed once again. The previous site was using it from Google. This one's using an external company because to have your product review verified, you first need to purchase the product. So users know that right here, they're seeing reviews that are from previous purchases. And then this website has another little element in that it's NDIS verified. And what that is, that's a government agency over here in Australia. And to get that confirmation, you need to be approved by a government agency. So once again, the user who's looking at the site and looking at these products, know that they're looking at not only a highly reviewed product, but also a product that has got government verification. And then finally on my website, I've done it very simply just by adding in these well-known international brands that I've worked with previously. So never think that you have to create long-winded testimonials or that large sections of your page have to be dedicated to different authority markers. It can be a very simple process of just a couple of brand images or from review sites and testimonials, which is usually more than enough information that the user needs just to go through and be able to verify that they're happy with this process. Remembering that when someone buys, they buy on emotion and they justify with logic. And then that brings us to our fifth and final point, which is you need to make sure that you've got a simple, easy to use conversion process. So once you've done all the hard work of building up that emotion through your headlines, your images, your call to actions, and your simple messaging, you then got even further and you remove that fear through different testimonials, price guarantees, and authority markers, you don't wanna waste all of that hard work by having a complicated checkout process or a complicated inquiry form. So the last thing that you need to make sure that you're seeing those conversions is you just need to have a simple process for them to complete that action. A simple click to call button, or a simple email form, or a simple buy now button. And in regards to e-commerce sites, the great news is, is that especially over the last couple of years, sites like Shopify and WooCommerce have made this process so simple, especially if you've got an e-commerce product. So right now, if you're getting people to click on your Google Ads, and they're going through to your landing page, and they're not converting, why don't you let me know in the comments section below which of these actions that you're gonna put in place right now. Also, if you found value in this content, could you please give this video a like, and also remember to subscribe so you're kept up to date every time I release one of these new Google Ads training videos. Thank you for joining me again, and finally, if you're happy with how your landing page is looking, but you need to know how you can optimize your Google Ads account in the quickest and easiest way so that you can get the most conversions, why don't you go through and watch this video here. Thank you again, see you next time.